Welcome to the Gospel Hour, where we talk about the Bible in a fun and easy way. I'm your host, Sam, and today we have a very special guest with us, someone who knows a whole lot about the Gospel of Luke. Everyone, please welcome Grace. Hi Sam, hi everyone. I'm super excited to talk about Luke today. Awesome. So, Luke is one of the books in the New Testament, right? But what makes it special, Grace? Exactly, Sam. The Gospel of Luke is all about Jesus' life, but it starts with two very special babies. Do you remember who they are? One of them is Jesus, right? But who's the other baby? That's right, Jesus is one of them. But the other one is John the Baptist. Before Jesus was born, an angel told John's parents, Elizabeth and Zechariah, that they would have a son, even though they were very old. John would grow up to tell people about Jesus. Isn't that cool? Wow. So, they were kind of like cousins, right? Exactly. Jesus and John were cousins. And do you know who told Mary, Jesus' mother, that she was going to have a baby? Oh, I remember this one. An angel, right? Yes. The angel Gabriel. He told Mary she would have a baby, and he would be called Jesus, the Son of God. Mary was really surprised, but also really happy. She sang a special song called the Magnificat to thank God. Okay, Grace, I've heard about Christmas, which is when Jesus was born, but can you tell us more about what happened? Sure. Jesus wasn't born in a big house or a fancy hospital. He was born in a stable with animals because there was no room in the inn. Mary and Joseph had to lay baby Jesus in a manger, which is like a feeding box for animals. That's not where I'd expect the Son of God to be born. I know, it's surprising. But God wanted Jesus to be humble and show that he came for everyone, not just kings or rich people. And then what happened? Did anyone come to see baby Jesus? Yes. First, there were shepherds out in the fields. Angels appeared to them and told them the good news, that the Savior was born. So they rushed to see Jesus. Later, wise men from far away came, but that part's more in Matthew's Gospel. Okay, so Jesus is born. What about when he was a kid? Did he do anything special? Oh yes. There's a story in Luke about how, when Jesus was 12, he stayed behind in the temple in Jerusalem to talk with the teachers there. His parents didn't know where he was and were worried. But Jesus was safe, he was learning and teaching about God. Whoa, so even as a kid, he was already super wise. Yep. And when he grew up, Jesus started his ministry. He was baptized by John the Baptist, and then he began teaching people about God's love and performed lots of miracles. Like, he healed sick people, made blind people see, and even brought a boy back to life. Wow, Jesus sounds amazing. But Grace, I've heard he told a lot of stories too, parables, right? What are those? Good question, Sam. Parables are stories Jesus used to teach lessons. One famous one in Luke is the parable of the Good Samaritan. It's about a man who was hurt on the road, and some people passed by without helping him. But a Samaritan, who was from a group of people who didn't usually get along with the Jews, stopped and took care of him. So, the lesson is to help people, even if they are different from you. Exactly. Jesus wanted us to love everyone and be kind, no matter what. This is all really cool, Grace. But what about the end of Jesus' life? What happened then? Well, at the end of Luke, Jesus is arrested, even though he didn't do anything wrong. He's put on a cross and dies to save us from our sins. But here's the amazing part. After three days, Jesus rises from the dead. Wait, he came back to life. Yes. He came back to life to show that he has power over death and sin. 
And then he appeared to his disciples, told them to spread the good news about God, and later went up to heaven. That's why Easter is such a joyful celebration, Jesus is alive. Wow, Grace. The Gospel of Luke has so many amazing stories about Jesus, his birth, his miracles, his parables, and even how he rose from the dead. It all shows how much God loves us. That's right, Sam. Luke helps us see that Jesus came to save everyone and show us how to live in love and kindness. Well, that's all the time we have today. Thanks so much for joining us, Grace. And thanks to all of you watching. We hope you learned something new about Jesus. See you next time on the Gospel Hour. Thanks, Sam. Bye everyone, and remember, God loves you.